Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again. I'm Shannon, and this week on your pop review, I'm going to be doing the newly released Pop Disney number 296 Darkwing Duck vinyl figure, so stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, as I said, this is the Pop Disney 296 Darkwing Duck final figure from Funko Pop. I ordered this way back in April, and it wasn't yet released. It didn't actually get officially released until July, I think it was like July 7th. I pre-ordered it on Amazon, and then I got it. I think I got it on like the 5th or 6th, something like that. But in stores, it was released on the 7th, I believe. So, as you can see here. So, as you can see here, you got Pop Disney 296. You got Darkwing Duck final figure. You got a little picture, display picture of Darkwing DW right there. Very nice. You got the standard window packaging. With the uh, slight clamshell inside. On the back you got number 296 is Darkwing Duck. 297 is Launchpad McQuack. And 298 is Goslin Mallard. DW's adopted daughter. And then on the side here we got the display side. Nice image of Darkwing Duck and Cityscape behind him. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a look inside. There he is. Let me move the camera down a little bit so we can uh, scoot, scoot him a little bit closer and get a better look at him. So there he is. You got his wide brimmed hat there. Got it kind of just like with the old cartoon. It kind of droops down over the right side of his face a little bit. Got the black band on it. Square top. He's got his purple, or I guess, is it? I guess that would be violet because purple would be this color back here. Some people say it looks pink. It's purple. A lot of what people say is purple is actually violet if you look at the color wheel. So, as you can see, you got his uh, light blue slash teal turtleneck shirt underneath. Uh, his jacket with the four buttons. His cape. He's in his crime-fighting pose. And for those of you who don't know, who were maybe born a little, a little later in life, Darkwing Duck is a cult classic icon. A spinoff of the original DuckTales from the 1990s that was on uh, the Disney Channel. Uh, it usually aired like right after kids started getting home from school, around 3, 3.30, somewhere around there. On, their, on Disney Channel's afternoon block and Saturday mornings. Darkwing Duck is one of those characters that um, stood the test of time. You know, it, it, was, it was a goofy uh, superhero type cartoon span off from the uh, DuckTales and I say sp span off because one of the other stars of it, Launchpad McQu uh, yeah, Launchpad McQuack, got his start on DuckTales, and then they crossed him over into Darkwing Duck. And he, Darkwing Duck has a huge fan basis to this day, along with DuckTales. I, I don't really understand why Disney felt it necessary to change the art style of DuckTales to what it is now. I myself, I love the old, the 90s art style, and I hope that if they do end up bringing back Darkwing Duck, I hope 
they don't go with that new art style, that new art direction that Disney is doing with all their all their cartoons. It's just I don't like it at all. I'm, I mean, I may be old fashioned, but apparently I'm not too old fashioned because it seems more like they're going back to uh, the '60s and '70s art style of drawing like the uh, Ducktales, Mickey Mouse, Goofy, and all of them. Uh, I don't want to see that happen with DW. Let's get I really didn't want to see that happen with DuckTales. <laughs> Just a cl two classic cartoons from my childhood I really loved. I introduced my kids to uh, DuckTales, <laughs> and they love it. Uh, the original series, not the new Disney series, but the original. Um, along with the animated movie um, Lost Lamp or something like that. I wish Disney would go back to that style. You know, bring back the original DuckTales. Bring Woo! back Darkwing Duck. Goof Troop, you know. It was just great animation. It was funny. I I can't say enough things about it. And, as I said, Darkwing Duck, uh, DuckTales, and I think Goof Troop were all in the same animated Disney universe type deal. I think there were occasionally crossovers or whatever. Um, I'm, I don't think Mickey Mouse had his own cartoon at the time. He would usually appear in the movie. They would save Mickey for the movies. So let's go ahead and spin him around. Take a look at the back. Plain back. You know, you can see his collar. You can see his feet. His cape. The cape is very reminiscent of Batman. Darkwing Duck has always been kind of that, uh, Disney's version of Batman, I guess you'd call him. Um, and as with all pops, his head does turn all the way around. I was really excited to get this, guys. Uh, John just told me the other day that he uh, pre-ordered Negadec. I was thinking about making this my last pop because my collection is just getting too big for where we live. And... I don't know, I may have to purchase Negaduck just to say I have them both. It's the exact same figure, you know, just a different paint job. Go on Amazon, look up Darkwing Duck Funko Pop. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. Uh, he might even be sold out, you never know. Uh, but I don't think Negaduck has been released yet, so you might have better chances with him if you pre-order. So there you have it, guys, the Pop Disney number 296. Darkwing Duck vinyl figure from Funko Pop. This has been another pop review by your friends at Comageddon. Have fun and go out and hunt you down some pops. Let's get dangerous.